Uh, guys, congrats on this amazing, amazing uh, event, shall we say. Um, I can imagine when you read the script for the first time, there was a point where you thought it was a gimmick, but then I guess when you heard that it was Charlie Brooker and it was a Black Mirror thing, that it kind of heightened in your head that it was going to be something pretty special. Yeah, you pretty much answered your own question then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I did think it was going to be a gimmick. when uh, well, I, I did worry that it could be a gimmick uh, when the sort of the idea was laid out for me because I hadn't read the script um, after my first audition. I'd been offered the role uh, as a result of the audition, but I hadn't read the script. I didn't know anything about the interactive part. And all, uh, all the information I had before I had a meeting with Charlie and Annabelle was that it was going to be interactive. And it was about video game coders. And in my head, I thought this could be really, really terrible, gimmicky yeah. and cringy. Uh, and then I met with Charlie and Annabelle, and we talked through it all. Um, and I very quickly realised after talking to them and reading the script that it wasn't going to be gimmicky. Yeah, and interestingly, and uh, you know, I don't want to speak for Charlie or Annabelle, but interestingly, I think the response to the idea of an interactive film or episode experience. Um, was no from them. And then Charlie says that annoyingly he came up with an mm. idea that would work really well. Um, and yeah. yeah, I think that the concept, which could have potentially been gimmicky in execution, couldn't have been in safer hands than yeah, exactly. when, it, when it was on Charlie and Annabelle's desk. Congratulations on this amazing, amazing choose your own adventure. The books I used to love when I was a kid. So Still Thank available in the it. shops. I Still available just, in the yeah. shops. Yeah. Used to love playing those games. I can imagine it was such a daunting task going into it. Did it kind of change your process as writers? Obviously, I know that you had to do certain different things, but did it change the way that you concept Black Mirror from, from beforehand? Um, <coughs> yes, yeah. basically. I mean, yes. I mean, just in order to write the, the story outline, I had to use like a interactive fiction coding language called Twine, which is free. You can go and use. So just, just from the very start, that should have been a distress flare going up saying, hang on, this is going to be tricky at that point. There was a point where the, the story outline crashed. That should have been a warning. <laughs> <laughs> you both uh, done some pretty incredible stuff uh, in, your, in your career so far. I mean, obviously you did Dunkirk, Detroit, lots of others in between. Was this more challenging for you as actors? Because I can imagine the, the, the narrative is such that you're doing a lot of the same sequence of stuff for a longer period, or you're doing you know, scenes from different timelines, if you like. It's very different. It's just a very different way of shooting mm. and of uh, approaching um, a character, I suppose. Because uh, you're not usually, when you do something filmed, when you do film and TV, it's more, more common, I feel like, in theatre that you break the fourth wall. But in film and TV, there's not very mm. common that you break the fourth wall and talk to the audience, yeah. especially not in a way where they are controlling you and you're, and for me at least, for my character, Stefan is becoming aware of the kind of amount of control he lacks. Um, so that was a very confusing and difficult thing to mm. approach. And each, yeah. each job, I think, has its own set of challenges. Um, normally you're able to kind of group them into kind of like emotional and physical sort of categories. This one was just a very intense mental exercise. I've mm. never really done something that required so much of my, you know, brain yeah. power to actually uh, achieve, of which there's quite little, so. Yeah, I can't do a Rubik's Cube, but I would compare <laughs> it right. to doing a Rubik's Cube. This was a 19-sided yeah. Rubik's yeah. Cube. <laughs> yeah. Underwater with a blindfold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and someone kicking you every kicking now and then. You. Yeah, someone very buoyant just kicking you. <laughs> yeah. um. but, but yes, ha suddenly having not a linear story or mm. having lots of linear stories and which ones you explore and how you weave them together and how you make sure that you don't have so many that all becomes meaningless and that you don't believe in the character anymore because you're not really, you don't believe that it's any of those decisions are authentic or credible. So so have, that was, I think, the trickiest part of crafting, to try and make it feel like a cohesive film. Because you want people to keep playing and you want them to feel that the more they play, the more they sort of learn and understand the whole world and get the full picture of his life and why he may have made certain decisions or why you might have been presented for certain decisions. So that was quite complex. And so I think we spent so much time just in you know, in that original flow chart where you're just sort of working out w how to make this feel like a film predominantly. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it was nuts. Because normally in, in storytelling, and and it was nuts. <laughs> normally you're, you're just having to strip things back and it's a bit like, to sound a bit tossy, it's a bit like sculpting and then now. you get a great big block of granite and you're like, 
chip and, it, and then you want to end up with something that's really good and is that shape and here you could keep adding bits so actually my sculpture analogy is a bit in the dust already I don't know what I'm talking about now gluing so bits of no chewing gum Vinci. on some, no I'm no longer you're Da Vinci no longer. did Da Vinci do sculpture sculpture yes. did he of course he did did he I thought he just painted no he things. did he could do anything thing. he was very much the will I am of his day <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> and he's had to edit things. Um, yes, it was. I know a lot of uh, when I talk to a lot of like actors and stuff. When you talk to them about the project, sometimes they haven't seen the film or seen the TV show. Or Have you had guys, guys had a chance to sit down and, and quote unquote play play it yet, or is that something you kind of because you, you've been in it, you want to detach yourself a little mm. bit before you, you maybe delve in? I've done about three quarters, something like that. Uh, I've done a bit. Yeah, yeah, I've done a bit of it. But it's that, that's kind of the cool thing is it's potentially never finished. I mean, mm. there are so many different variants yeah. and the sort of, the, the, the pathway is almost infinite, aren't they? There is four and a half. I was talking uh, to uh, someone from Netflix and I didn't even realize this. We shot four and a half hours worth of coverage. Um, in ter and that is all included in the episode in terms of variations, is different really? pathways wow. and everything else. Yeah. So that is insane. That's and like two uh, movies. Yeah, it's yeah. nuts. Um, so I haven't watched all of it and I don't intend to because watching myself for that amount of time makes me feel physically sick. <laughs> Was there many um, kind of reference points in terms of, because a lot of people have done, not done this before, but there's similarities. I mean, Donnie mm -hmm. Darko did similar things, Groundhog Day did similar things. I mean, were there are any of saying, those? Are you saying with Derivative. No, no, not at all, not at all. Just saying, just things like what he just said, it was accusatory, he pointed as well. Like that. that's, that's, that's how you guys often. No, but there's like, and there's definitely <laughs> there's Groundhog Day. We discussed Groundhog Day. There's definitely a nod in the yeah. Groundhog Day direction. Yeah. I mean, he wakes yeah. up, we don't play I Got You, Babe, on the radio, we play Relax, but we did discuss it. We did, yeah. we, um, uh, and, and, and there's obviously, there's references to video games. There's been lots of uh, interactive fiction has been around for decades so there's little nods <coughs> in those directions there's all sorts of influences i think um and references that 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 crop up some that mm -hmm. people pointed out to me that i didn't realize were there even i mean the title is a reference to a video game that never arrived yeah. i need a sip of water don't i listen it's really uncomfortable how long can i talk so, like this before so everyone moved. squirms so... on my bar <coughs> that's better you're so emotional about the whole 1984 I know, I getting... computer game i am I was getting choked up, just thinking about Jet oh. Set Willy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a game. We're going to have to stop now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Does it make you feel kind of, in a way, proud that the fans have, have gone into it and have spent so much time going through it that they've made their own kind of flow charts? I know someone's gone through yeah. the whole thing and found the secret ending and it's like, a hundred steps the secret to, ending? to get curious. to there. Do you know? I do know, but what I don't want to. I don't want to spoil yeah, it for no. you. That's the thing. I don't want to spoil oh, it. Oh, that's. But I mean, I've done it. it. So I, I mean, I, I was acting in it. So I didn't <laughs> know there's the apparently ending. five, but the secret ending. I don't know what it is, but there's five endings apparently. Huh. So, but you've got to. Got okay. to that full, magic flow yeah, you've got to go through okay. it. Yeah. Mm. It's really. Okay. It's really. Cool. It is in there though. It is yeah. in there apparently. It's really cool to be involved in something that has such a kind of faithful and heavily invested uh, fandom as as Black Mirror, you mm. know. Um, got to do a like signing recently, um, a kind of little like tucker shop oh, pop-up sort yeah. of thing. And Black Mirror fans are just so enthusiastic and fully immersed and engaged in the material and they're looking for all the different hints, all the different Easter eggs and you know it's nice to engage with a with a viewership that like really do want to find all those pathways and whatnot and yeah. really grateful that they were so you know receptive to the to the project. Mm. Good stuff. Guys, thanks so much for your time. Absolute pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate Cheers. it. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, hey.